Hello Carol Shelby fans and the vehicles of Carol Shelby. So what we have in this box is a Cobra concept car. Much like the photographs you see here. There was only one made to my understanding. And uh, it was powered by a V10 that was 6.4 liters and it was making a little over 600 horsepower. And then uh, this thing had an aluminum space frame chassis and a billet fr aluminum front end. That was interesting to learn. And a lot of billet everywhere else. These roll uh, hoops here are supposed to be billet aluminum. The dashboard is supposed to be billet aluminum. Um, the A-pillars are billet aluminum. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of billet aluminum. That is apparently the phrase of the day. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, a little bit more. Uh, one more billet would be the uh, the wheels. They're made by BBS. So, uh, more billet all around. And someone actually owned this thing. They, they bought it, and then later on I, I read an article that was going up for auction again. Expected to pull three million dollars because it's a one-of-a-kind, you know, concept that uh, the previous owner was able to actually make it street legal. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, so uh, let's see here. No, oh, I didn't even mention who makes this, but now we know. It's auto art. So I don't have too many auto arts, but uh, I'm starting to like them. I do see some auto arts that have painted headlights, so I'm avoiding those. But uh, this one seems to have, you know, the, uh, the plastic ones, so it seems cool by me. Okay, let's start with the side here. First, it's silver. I mean, the real car is silver, and that's the only one there was. But, you know, auto art has to make their money back on their molds, so I think a logical choice was this blue and white one, just like the original Cobras. So, and I'm sure there may have been a red and white stripe version as well. Possibly a black, right? But anyways, if you can't get the original color, I think this is probably the second best choice, because it just looks like a, an old classic Cobra. Alright, so it's a nice metallic blue for sure. I do like it. Um, okay, the wheels here, these billet BBS wheels. Yeah, I guess they uh, they look pretty cool. I mean, they look accurate to the photograph. You got these little dimples even here. And then maybe there's a center cap or something with uh, screws or something. There seems to be a Ford badge, you know, printed in the center. Although the, the rear one's offset. You know, it's not in the center, whereas the front one is pretty well centered. Um, try to focus on that, see if it's legible. Yeah, yeah, the, it's legible enough. And I don't even think I saw this before. It says Shelby right there. It's such small printing. I mean, look at my dental pick, right? That letter can fit in your teeth. Okay, so the tires are pretty good. They're not slab-sided. There's a little bit of curvature, even though they're low profile, so I like that. Um, going to the rear, well, I guess the taillights here are painted, but they're so small, uh, it seems okay, you know, they're, they're perfectly painted. Okay, and then we got this, uh, what I would have to guess might be billet aluminum accents there. And then, oh, look at this, this the venting actually goes in quite a bit, right? So, what is it? I'm trying to see as it bottoms out, I guess it, I don't know if it's really hollow in there. I'm going to pull out the flashlight. Like, is it going into that interior? I think it is. Oh, I see what's happening. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, they just pass through to this section here. So those must be maybe the exhaust tips or the mufflers. So that's interesting. Hmm. So I guess these rectangular openings are where the mufflers are shooting out the exhaust. And I don't know what this is. Anyone may leave a comment? Is, is billet aluminum on the real photograph? Is that the back end of the differential or something? Or a backup light, maybe? Hmm. Okay, well, it's nice to see Ford printed here in the license plate area. And then Cobra looks pretty good. Hmm, this white stripe is pretty nice carrying it across nicely to the front. Yeah, it's pretty straight stripes. So the headlights here, yeah, there's, uh, you know, plastic and uh, 
what is there black or something? I think the lens is all clear, but behind it there's a black paint app. And maybe the plastic is actually round there, and that's making the illusion of the headlight. That's what I'm guessing. These recesses here for these uh, fog lights are just cast. Unfortunately, they're not, there's no silver paint in there. Those are actual lights. Okay, well, the grill is nice because look how far in that thing goes. Yeah, that's really deep, and there's a actual radiator right there, so pretty neat. Alright, uh, there's a little chin spoiler here, and it's got a little vent right there again, carrying through, and it's painted black. So yeah, okay, well you can kind of see the pick there, but it, it does go into this recess back here. So that's nicely done. So yeah, look at the real photographs. These are billet aluminum, like bumper, bumperettes. Okay, what about this thing? Oh, that's a real vent. I thought it was just black paint. But no, that's a real vent. So really, really good detail there. And then we have a little silver paint for maybe these are hinges. I'm not really sure. And then we got the... Uh, nice uh this is a photo etched piece of metal this is the same kind of gas cap on the uh bugatti veyron that uh, auto art did i don't know if it's the exact same one but it's nice i mean look at that there's so much dimensionality to it and surface finishing it's polished and matte at the same time okay the interior that's supposed to be a billet aluminum dash as i mentioned and uh, it's got nicely molded details, you know, with all the gauges and stuff. And it's got a little silver paint or something going on in there. This is not black. That's black on top and below, so it's nice to see those different colors. And on the steering wheel, a little silver. And the shifter knob. Okay, the seats there, those look pretty good. Okay. The real car has blue seats. So, I'm curious if AutoArt did... You know, I'm sure they did a silver one, like the real car, but I wonder if they took the effort to make this interior blue. Hmm, there's a little silver here on the door hand door area as well. Okay. And these roll hoops, I think, are a separate piece of plastic. Yeah, and they're painted silver. So yeah, pretty good. Uh, luckily, I don't see any actual defects. I'm sure I'll find some now that I said that, but... Let me look at this with my own eyes here. Mm, nope, that's good. That's just some dust. The badge printing on the wheels on this side are better. So this is almost a perfect model. I mean, if I had to nitpick, it's maybe just that one Ford logo there isn't uh, centered 100%, but it doesn't really bother me. So I guess it's like a 99% perfect model, which is really great. What I don't know is how old this thing is. It just doesn't have a year of copyright, so that's unfortunate. These tires are rubbery. You know, uh, it doesn't... Well, you know, it does. I didn't think it would roll. It's a silent roller. Unexpected. So that's a plus. So I gotta say, this is actually a pretty awesome model. I mean, it's... I can't ask for anything more. I mean, you have a colorful interior. Uh, wiper blades? I don't see them on the real car, so I guess you can't ask for that. I guess it could use a rear view mirror, but uh, I'm okay without it. It's nice that this is actually color coded too. This is actually, no, this is actually billet though on the real car. It's billet aluminum, but the auto art decided to paint it. I think it would have been nicer if this was painted silver to mimic the uh, billet aluminum. Okay, well it's interesting here. You can see the white stripes are carrying through underneath the windshield. So this windshield piece, I don't know if that blue is the actual part of the casting and this windshield is going into some grooves right there or not. Yeah, I'd be curious how it's made, but unfortunately because it's riveted together, uh, I'm never going to find out. But uh, wow, it's a really nice model. I'm glad I got this. Okay. So here we have it with the uh, Kyosho Cobra, and uh, they're both great models. I gotta say, this auto art is very impressive. I don't know how old this model is, but uh, it doesn't have any paint rash, 
which if it was a Kyosho, I'd just kind of expect it to have paint rash or some sort of, uh, you know, bubbling going on. In fact, this red cobra does have a little bit of a bubbling. It's just uh, kind of hidden by, well, there it is on the trunk. So it's really impressive. Uh, now the Kyoshos I think were selling for like six or seven bucks. So, but I think the auto arts probably sold for more, but I might be mistaken. So anyways, if you like uh, Cobras, if you like concept cars, uh, I definitely think this auto art is a great, great buy. It's uh, highly unlikely that anyone else is gonna make a 164 scale version of this car ever again, seeing how they only made one of them in the real world. Uh, so that's why I picked it up Okay, well, I guess I'll see you guys hopefully in a, another Carol Shelby review. Thanks. Bye